advantage after winning a reward, but in the end, she could not create an alliance that would keep her in the game. Julie says she's gonna win it. She's got one plate left. And she does! <laughs> Who are you taking with you? Well, it's ironic because none of these people would have taken me, so um, I'm gonna take Chris. It didn't surprise me that she picked me. She, she wants to go further in the game, and she knows that her name's coming up for elimination. So, are you a lot tired of the, with Twyla than I thought you were? Um, no, I was, I've never been real tight with Twyla. I haven't liked the game since we merged. We have no reason to be stressed. Okay. I've made my decision. It's not gonna change. It's me, you, and Scout voting for Julie, and that's it. Julie Berry, good morning. Hi. How surprised were you when your name was called as being ousted last night? The surprise when justified. Just heartbroken. Just really let down. My feelings got hurt. Because you, because Chris lied to you? Um, not just the lie, but what he used to base me keeping, what he told me to keep me in the game. He said he'd use our friendship and that I meant something. So I wish he would have said something less as important to me to say, you know, this is why I'm keeping you in the game. And then, it, you know, it kind of just threw me out the door based on our friendship. So I, I really took it personally. Is there such a thing as friendship when, you know, in Survivor in this game? Very much so. Very much so. Any social context, you naturally get drawn to people. And, and you do. You, you go through all these hardships. You disclose. You trust. You do have to trust. It's just a matter of knowing where people draw their line. And that's where it's just impossible to tell. So. OK, so then the question is, now that he de did this, do you think there will be a friendship with him after we determine the winner Sunday night and all that? You know, I, I have a lot of questions about it, you know, and I'm still really hurt, so. Well, what about that comment you made when you won the reward challenge and you had to pick someone, you said, well, it's ironic because none of these people picked me, which made it look like, you know what, I don't like any of them and they don't like me and I'm just going to, okay, eeny, meeny, miny, Chris. <laughs> right, it, well, no, it, it, there was strategy behind that and I enjoyed Chris the most out of those people. I mean, we do laugh, we slap each other around and just, we had an interesting relationship and so, not only did I enjoy him, but it was my only chance to stay in the game, too. Is this going to come back to haunt him if he makes it to the final two? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> he wronged you, and you have to even the yeah, score, darn it. Yeah. What was your strategy when you were out there? You know, we saw a lot of nude sunbathing from right, you. Right, right. You know, Tan you're the very... Cheeks. <laughs> tanning the cheeks. Mm -hmm. all, all four of them. Right. Um, <laughs> But, you know, you're very attractive. Was that part of the strategy? You know, um, you know, going into Survivor, you know the definition of an out, outlast, outplay. But yet, you get out there and you get warped into this world. And I was 100% there. And I knew, I've watched all the Survivors, but yet I still got jaded. I still got attached to people. And, and um, the whole um, sunbathing, if I was on an island by myself with no cameras, I, I would have sunbathed too. So I, that's just me. And I was enjoying the moment and I didn't really think much about it. What about the flirting? Because Sarge thought you're, when the, uh, mer when the uh, tribes merged and then there were... I did the lean on Sarge's leg and there was a lot of talk about that, right. Um, hmm, I just... Was it a deliberate lean? N no. Or you just being you? Just me, me being me and I mean I enjoyed everybody there so it, it's really harmless but you know, maybe it is embedded in me more than I realize. And people, I mean, he obviously had a reaction over it, so, which was interesting. I want to go back a couple of weeks, because okay. I, I have a theory that why Chris might have voted you out. Remember when you and Leanne went on the trip and you brought back chicken yeah. bones for oh, the yeah. guys, but chicken on, you know. Meat for the women. Meat for the women. Maybe this is his payback, because. I don't think he ever knew. Oh, that's true. Never came out, because yeah. we don't get to see everything that happens. Secret. Oh, American so, like, oh well, then maybe God. it's karma. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what do you make of the final four? We've got Twyla, Scout, who are shoulder to shoulder, Chris, who looks like he's shoulder to shoulder with them, and Eliza. Right. Is Eliza, like, she has to win immunity challenges from here on out to make it, or what? You know, there's no predictability at all. I mean, look at Leanne, completely ousted and surprised. Anything can happen, and immunity definitely plays a huge role. And you don't really know how tight Twyla, Scout, or Chris are. Well, you made it 36 days, so close and yet so far, Julie Berry. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the finale night yes, Sunday, definitely. of course. Survivor's season finale airs this Sunday night at 8, 7 central, here on CBS. 
And on Monday, we here at The Early Show present a million dollar check to the big winner again on Monday here on The Early Show.